Hey, you doing today? Cherokee survival. Okay, first day kit. For my 72 hour or camping trip on my go bag. I'll tell you what I'll be using. Cheap, man. It's cheap. It's Walgreens for wounds. Non stick pad. A tampon, anor pad, and a gastronon pad. You got even that. Inside that, some case you have spring your ankle. Surgical gloves. See? Surgical gloves. There's your tire. That's for the female regular pad for a certain spot. Sterling pads for your chest. Another chest pad. Another chest. No, another female pro product pad. And two common pads. That goes in here. They come in handy. Them tampon pads is actually what I call uh, cloggers. I mean, if you got a big hole, you have to stick it in and twist and pull, it opens up. And you then your band here. That's where your basic area. With a sprayed ankle. That goes in that bag. Okay. Oops. I got two packs of them. Sort of blood got to go in there too. It's cheap. Cheap. Remember, it's cheap. If you're in 72 wires, you need to be cut. You could use that if you got cut real bad in certain areas. There's one. Another cheap part I picked up for first aid. See? Band aids. Just common old band aids. 26 band aids. They're three and a half by three inches and three fourths. You got 14 one and two and a half inches. Cheap band-aids. That's two and a half and one fourth. You got 12 sports band-aids and then heavy duty waterproof band-aids. One inch and three inch band-aids. Two sheep of Herald pad band-aids. There's your band-aids. Remember that. It's what you're supposed to be carrying when you're going camping and stuff. We'll get back into the other area. What else do we got in here? And it still come from the same place. Walgreens. Headaches, fever, muscle aches, skin conditions. You got antiseptic wipes, alcohol wipes, antibiotic wipes, antibiotic ornament wipes. Five stinger wraps, non aspirin catamaran tablets, and two regular tablets and two biopropan tablets. All in here. It's got to go in there. Instead of doing it that way, let me do it this way. It'd be a lot bloody easier. I'm always zigzagging them. So I know which one goes to which. Another first aid kit that hooks up to it. Plastic band-aids, our band-aids, three eighths band-aids, two gals, two alcohol cleaning pads, two butterfly closures, and ten cotton tips. Two tips. Ear tips. 
What else do I got? You gotta go in there. More. More for different kind of stings. You got stings for bees, which are named yellow jackets, honeybees, carpenter bees, and wasps. Biopropen and aspirins and a lot of alcohol pads. Got to get them in there now. Got to get them in there. What else do I got? Oop, emergency blanket. Another emergency blanket. A tourniquet. I got two of these. That's tape. And for some reason they gave me for first aid, just in case it's really far, I got glow in the dark paracord, 50 feet. I think I did pretty good. What do you think? Oh, alcohol seltzers. I don't know why they give me alcohol seltzers, but they did. And then they gave me something else. All going into my medical bag for 72 hours. Now this comes for everything. They don't even know it. This good is good for stings and mosquito bites. And you've got a common cold. And it also is actually good for aspirin too. They don't even know it. Tiger bong. Yep, herbal Brandon tiger bong. Now that's what you be needing to put in your areas. Most guys don't pay attention to it. I'm gonna put them all in there from a first aid kit. It's what they call a personal, individual first aid kit. So if you needed it, you got it, and you don't have no nothing to worry about for 72 hours. Well, that's pretty darn good to have something like that in there when you think about it. And it's pretty damn nice. Remember, it's the tourniquet. Still putting them all in there, putting them all in there. I'm still putting them all in there. I'm zipping them up now. I gotta zip them up. Oh, I gotta zip it up. This, this thing is really tight. I thought they gave me too much ash to put into my area, but you know, they will do it anyway. That goes on. This is the first aid one. I usually put it on this side. So if anything happens, I can use it. That goes on your go bag. This is a Garfield go bag. Same thing as 511. This might be the last one I do today. That's where this is going. I gotta put it on there. So now you know where the go bag goes. Easy to get to. No one usually shoots at this. reason you put it on your left hand side is because most of the time everybody's right handed. Every once in a while you'll see somebody left handed. That's my video on my personal 72 wire camping go bag First Aid Kit, or I-F-A-K. I, individual, F, 
You can say personal. First aid. Kit. It goes on your left hand side because most of y'all are right handed. That's where it's going to go on your right hand. So think about it. If it's going on your right hand, it's easy to get to in emergencies. And you put them in there, zigzag what, you know exactly where your medication is if you need it, or if you need a certain kind of band-aid, you know exactly where to go, or you can get the tourniquet or the tape. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.